Hello, Dennis, and thank you for coming in and speaking with me about your experience in the full fasting weight loss program. Uh, but let's just get right into it. Um, what pushed you to lose weight and to enter into our program? Oh, well, um, I will tell you that uh, I had attempted to lose weight before, and um, uh, I had got to a point in my life where I was really done with so many different things. I was actually giving up on a lot of things. And I actually came into this program asking somebody to give me surgery and just fix it for me. Mm -hmm. I had no real drive to do anything. Uh, had a lot of failures in my life, uh, a lot of pain, wounds as a child and stuff. And they all brought me to that place where I was medicating myself in every way, celebrating, spending time with food all the time. Uh, okay. I got to the place where I was about, well, I was 364 pounds. And um, I kind of made a few lifestyle changes and got down a little bit. But when I came in here, I was stuck and I just couldn't get any farther. And that's when I decided to just forget it. I just, just cut me open yeah. and somebody just scoop it out and fix it for me. And um, so, so what made you decide, I don't want to do the surgery. I want to do the, the fasting program right instead. Here. Yeah, I walked in, I did the orientation, and um, and then I talked with, uh, to be honest with you, I don't even remember who I talked to. It was somebody that I talked to right after that in this building. Okay. And um, they told me, because really what I was looking to do was get the lap band. Mm -hmm. And um, they said, well, you're going to have to lose some weight to get the lap band. And so I thought about that for a little bit, and I'm thinking, well, if I ha I'm already stuck, and if I have to lose weight to get the lap band, then maybe I should just keep trying if, yeah. if I can get the support here because I still wasn't a believer in this place. And so I took a chance. And, um, and even when I started, I still wasn't a believer. Yeah. I, um, I started the shakes and um, I went into the class you know, with the teacher here. And mm -hmm. um, I went in the first time, that first class, basically sitting there saying to myself, I'm gonna do my time. And, I'll get the weight off and I'll just go do my own thing. Yeah. And um, Boy, were you wrong. <laughs> you know, he wasn't having any of that, the yeah. teacher, you know? And um, so he just started talking. And uh, I started realizing that even though I thought I knew how to lose weight and I knew all this stuff, mm -hmm. I mean, I was confident that I could do it, but it, was, it wasn't that, that wasn't the problem. It was getting to it. I didn't have the discipline. I didn't have the drive. I felt like a failure. And he started to make me realize, how I developed that from as a kid and brought it up to that point. And so when I started to see that, I really started to get hope because of this man, the way he was talking to me. And then, um, you know, everything from the blood test to weighing in and coming in and checking in with people, I started to feel that there was something different here. Um, it, I, I don't even know how to describe it. And so I, I gave it a chance. And then the weight started to come off. And then, it didn't take me 20 minutes to get out of bed in the morning because my legs hurt so bad. Uh, I had a lot of injuries from extreme sports that I did in the past and they were all uh, with me when in that over being overweight. Right. And so everything just started, just a little bit at a time started to change and I started to walk. And uh, I heard Zig Ziglar say this one time when he started walking. He said, get yourself a really good doctor, which I did now, and he goes, and go get yourself a workout suit. And he goes, something you feel comfortable in. And he goes, and then the first day, put your workout suit on, get yourself a bottle of water. He goes, just like I did. He goes, I walked out the front door and I walked to the mailbox. And he goes, and then I turned around and came back in. And he goes, and then the next day, I walked to the second mailbox. So that's what I did. I walked around the block. Small steps. Yeah. And then I came back in. The next day, I went back out and I walked a block and a half. And I just kept moving. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it started to come off more, and I started to feel a little bit better. And I started to realize that there was something happening here. And that's just how it got started. It became a lifestyle. I wake up in the morning. I, uh, I start it. I track everything. I, uh, mm -hmm. I know what's going on in my body all the time. 
because of the apps that I use and because of the menus that I've created. And um, now I run endurance races. Okay. I do long distance. So what was your total weight loss? How did you feel um, about your success? And what advice would you give to others going into this program? I lost 125 pounds um, over a period of a year and a half. Uh, I lost about 40 pounds of that before I came here, and then the rest of it I lost in the program. Um, my success in this is, uh, is fuel for the fire for me. Uh, and let me tell you what that means to me. It's not just have the fuel inside of me to be able to do more of this, it's the fuel that I have inside of me to be able to share this with other people. Uh, it makes me sad when I see somebody that won't take the chance, won't take the time to do just even a little to help themselves get out of that place where I was, that black hole. And so uh, I want to share it with everyone. <laughs>